This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the NLP task of extractive question answering. Extractive question answering is the task of extracting an answer from a text given a question. Hugging Face Transformers has a pipeline for question answering. Let's look into it. So I've already imported the pipeline from Transformers. I've also created a question answering pipeline. So this is the question answer pipeline and here I am defining a context. So let's define the context. So this is about Bengaluru city, right? It says Bengaluru is known as city of gardens. It is the capital of Karnataka. It has very pleasant weather and so on. Okay. Now I have a question. How is the weather in Bangalore? Okay. And I pass the context and the question to the question answer pipeline. Let's run this. Okay. Now let's print the result and see. So basically it says very pleasant weather almost all through the year. So for this question, how is the weather in Bangalore? It has extracted this particular answer from this text. So this is extractive question answering. Okay. So here it prints a probability score as well as the start and end position of the tokens of the answer. Right. Now let's ask another question. Okay. So which is about when does it rain in Bangalore? Okay, let's print the answer. So it says monsoon season. I would have expected it to say June to September, but then this answer is also fine because it says it gets good rain during the monsoon season over here. Okay, now let's ask another question. How long does the monsoon season last? Okay, it says from June to September. Okay, this is very clearly extractive because it extracts the answer from this text. It is not generative question answering. Okay, it doesn't generate an answer, it extracts. Okay. Another question, which is the city of gardens and it says Bangalore. Okay. So it does great over here in terms of the questions with respect to this context. Okay. Now let's have another, let's define another context. Okay. And let's see how it performs over here. So the context here is that you are talking, I'm talking about Apple iPhone 12 and Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now Apple runs on iOS, Samsung runs on Android. So let's say, let's ask the question, which phone runs on iOS? Okay. Now let's print the answer and see it gives Android. Okay. Because it looks at this runs on and it sees runs on over here and it kind of says Android. Okay. Now let's tweak it a little bit and say, which smartphone runs on iOS? Okay. Let me run that and let me, uh, you know, see the result. Now it says 12. It has kind of missed the iPhone over here. Right. So this also shows some limitations of this, uh, you know, ready to use question answering pipeline from hugging face. Probably you need to train it on your own data set. Okay. So how does this question answering pipeline work? Right. For that, uh, you know, they have a very nice tutorial over here, which talks about how does this question answering uh, work? Basically it makes use of a BERT model, right. And they have explained how to, uh, you know, fine tune this BERT model on the squad uh, to date uh, question answering data set over here. Uh, but the core idea is that present in this article. So I will also share the link to this article. This is from Chris McCormick. Uh, okay. Chris McCormick and it's about question answering with a fine tuned BERT. Okay. Uh, the techniques over use uh, in this tutorial are very similar to what is written over here as well. So the idea over here is that you pass the question along with the context, okay, to a BERT transformer model. Okay. For example, the question over here is how many parameters does BERT large have? And then this is the reference text. And now these are separated by the separator token and then you have the class embedding. Okay. Now BERT also has something called a segment embeddings to differentiate the question from the reference text. Basically segments A from B, that is a separator token over here. It also adds that embedding to the, before feeding it to the transformer. Okay. So now, now the idea is that given this text as input, right, for based on this question, BERT has to highlight what does this transformer model needs to do? It has to highlight which is the start token and which is the end token, right? So how do we do that? So how that is done is that you have two classifiers, one for a start token classifier and one for an end token classifier. Okay. So you give your input to the BERT transformer. Okay. And for every token embedding, which you get from BERT classifier, uh, from the BERT transformer, right? 
you have the start token classifier it has a single set of weights basically shown in this blue so now that weight is a dot product is done along with the embedding which is coming as an output from the transformer model right so for all the tokens in your context you get this value okay and then you apply a soft max and whichever token gives the highest value that you mark as the start token right similarly what you will do for the end token also for the end token also you have a separate weight vector that weight vector is common across all the uh, tokens now you multiply the embedding uh, you basically do a dot product with this token and then you do a soft max on all the tokens and you get a probability value highest probability value for some token you mark it as end token okay and you look out for all these start end token pairs right such that the end token always appears after the start token and you take whichever pair gives the highest probability in that way you have now extracted the answer okay so that is what is explained over here so given some question right uh, if you look at this over here uh, there is a context there is a question right so this is the context this is the question and there is an answer which you get from the model okay now what they do over here is that they've explained it over here you split it into uh, let me go to that basically you would split it into you know this class which is the question and the this is your context which is given as an input right uh, and this is how it is given and it needs to highlight what is a start token and end token okay so that is how basically you do extractive question answering using word transformer just to clarify once again let me explain you have your input question you have your context you pass it in this way to your transformer you have the class token you have the question token a separator token and then your answer uh, context right now what do you do over here this you pass it to the transformer on top of it the transformer you have two classifiers one is a start token classifier and one is a end token classifier to the start token classifier what do you do you have a weight associated with the start token classifier now this weight is constant and it is multiplied to all the basically there is a dot product done between this weight okay to all the output embeddings basically output embeddings of each token and a soft max is applied whichever token has the highest probability is classified as the start token similarly you have the embeddings of each word in your context there is a weight associated with this end token classifier there is a dot product done between this embedding and this end uh, token soft max is applied over all the tokens right for each token you do the dot product soft max is applied whichever is the largest probability is considered to be the end token now you have the start and end token with that you can extract the answer from this context okay i hope you like this video on extractive question answering using the hugging face transformers pipeline for further details on how to train you on your custom data set you can look at this tutorial from hugging face i'll put the link to this tutorial in the description of the video you can also read this blog as well as there is a video explanation also about this question answering you can also look through the video hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning